appreciate it. Well, it's a really exciting time for the Phoenix Zoo. That's because they're welcoming a brand new animal to the family. It's always fun. And catching up with him won't be difficult because <laughs> he moves really slowly. Fernando and his new best friend, Cameron. Good morning. Hey, yeah, good morning. Me and Fernando just been talking. Uh, he was in the politics. He was telling me he was a fan of Bernie Sanders. He's, a, he's quite the talker. So when you do come out here to uh, Phoenix Zoo, you will uh, get to learn all about him. Uh, to also tell us about him, it's Mary, who's uh, been keeping an eye on him. Yes. And right now we're having breakfast. Yes, he does love his green beans. So kids take note, vegetables are good for you. Um, but he's, he's really laid back. I mean, he's a two-toed sloth. So right now you can't see, but oh, there you go. Two toes right there. His back feet, he does have three toes. Um, and those teeth are pretty sharp. I don't know if you can see him, but he does like to bite into things. Um, he's pretty slow moving though, and he likes to sleep. So, so you've told us a few things that uh, we've learned about the sloths from the time we've been here, that they actually do move fast at night, and he's normally asleep right now, so he's wondering, why are these people in my room? Exactly, so he's not moving too quick right now, but at night, when it gets dark, he'll start motoring around the exhibit pretty well. Um, during the day, he just likes to sleep. He is a nocturnal animal. So right now, if we weren't here, what would he be doing? He would be sleeping. He would be cuddled up to that heat box and he would just sleep all day. So we are interrupting the uh, natural cycle here. Yeah, just a little bit. But all right, so he's getting food, so he loves it. All right, so people are wondering, okay, when can I come see the sloth? When can I see Fernando? He has a name, people. Um, but there's a little bit of a process that he's going through a little initiation right now. Yeah, so right now he's in quarantine. Um, he just actually is finishing up, but he'll be on exhibit soon. We don't have a set date. But um, yeah, he did great. He passed with flying color, so he is a healthy animal and he's ready to make his debut. And you said normally, you know, he never touches the ground. He's always on the branches. He's always hanging from something. And he's always, what, 97% of the time upside down. Yep, 97% of the time you'll see him upside down. He eats upside down. He sleeps upside down. Um, right now he's kind of curled up. But yeah, you won't see him on the ground unless he's going to the bathroom. And do, how do they like, do they like attention? Are we bothering him right now? Is he okay? Oh, he's fine. If he was bothersome, he would get up and move. And, and speaking of which, you said the, the, those claws are not there just for decoration, nor are his teeth. Exactly, they do have a purpose. So he might be slow, but he can hold on to a predator and he can do a pretty nasty bite. You don't want to get bit by those teeth. He is uh, quite impressive, very slow and quiet, but cute nonetheless. Very, very cute. All right, so you guys want to come out and uh, meet Fernando here soon, not just yet, but soon. He's uh, getting his initiation to Phoenix because he came all the way from the East Coast, right? Yep, National Aquarium in Baltimore. Okay, so like so many of us, he's adjusting to uh, the different weather that we're getting than what they normally get on the East Coast. Fernando, anything you want to say? It's Election Day. Are you voting today? <laughs> you don't want to share your views. Okay, that's fine. Roy Moore or Doug Jones, what's it going to be? Oh, he doesn't want to say. All right, come out and find out for yourself at the Phoenix Zoo. I'm Cameron Roto. Back to you guys. That was a fat he, no comment. Yeah, it was. He might need a little haircut in the summertime. <laughs> a little trim up. Yeah, trim the two-toed yeah. sloth. In, yeah. in August. Uh, thanks, Cameron. He's cute.